All right, boys and girls, we are on episode 37 of Konar Slayer. Hopefully by now you guys know that in this series I go over how I would do the task and I just kind of give you all the information so that you know how to do it based on what you have access to. So in the Abyss, when you're killing Abyssal Demons, you can go for the Abyssal Sire, which is actually okay. Like that would be a good task if you're killing the boss. On the series, I just kind of want to kill the regular monsters and not bosses. So killing normal Abyssal Demons in the Abyss is really bad. There's actually a few reasons for that. So first off, it's not multi-combat down there, you're not able to bring a cannon, and there's other monsters that are also aggressive towards you. And to make it even worse, the Abyssal Demons are pretty spread out, there's not like a big clump of them to keep going back and forth, you have to like run a little bit in between. Just wanted to put that out there, you know, I wanted to let you know what you're getting into. So if you don't plan on doing the Abyssal Sire for this task, then just skip it, it's not worth it. I do have an entire playlist of different Konar monsters to slay in different locations. So check that out if you're curious, I do have an Abyssal Demon one in the Slayer Tower, so that would be better if you just want to kill demons. The regular Abyssal Demons, that is. If you're absolutely sure you want to do this, then we're going to start. We're going to start right now. So whenever you're fighting Abyssal Demons, you generally want to go with melee as your attack style. It's not really possible to safe spot them because they can teleport you and they can teleport themselves around kind of randomly. Since my account has higher combat levels, I'm basically just going to take the best strength gear that I have access to on this one. I'll throw down a few options on screen you can kind of pick whatever you'd want to. I do want to note that I'm bringing Arclight as my weapon. It's essentially going to be the best weapon against any kind of demon because it has increased damage against them. Some people might not think it's worth it because he used charges. I just want this one to go as fast as possible so that's why I'm going to use it. I would also say as long as you're not camping prayer you probably want to bring Guthans as what you're going to heal with on the task. Which is one of the items we're going to have in our inventory. I'm also going to bring some Divine Super Combat Potions. Again, I just want this to go as fast as possible, that's why I'm going to bring those. I'm also going to have a Serodome and God Sword as my spec weapon. It's going to keep prayer up, going to heal me a little bit, it's going to be real nice for this. If you don't have one, the trusty Dragon Dagger will be more than okay. Although if you're going to bring Arc Light, then you can just use that to special attack with, because that's also a very good special attack. Beyond that, we also have ourselves, like I said, the Guthans. I'm going to bring a Soul Bearer to remove some of the insult heads from my inventory. I don't think it's necessary, I mean generally I don't like to bring a soul bearer, but I just unlocked it actually and I, I want to use it because it's the first time I have it. To help us get there we're also going to have a Draymond Staff, that's actually the only way to get there, you have to have fairy rings unlocked to get to the abyss. We're also going to have a gem bag, an herb sack, a rune pouch just with some high alk runes, and then a house teleport to get out. Once you actually take the fairy ring to the abyss there's not really a lot of variation on where you can go. This area of the abyss really isn't that big and there's not a lot of great places to camp at. Like I said, a lot of the spawns are pretty spread out so you'll be running around a little bit. Okay, so I just landed inside the abyss. You might notice the other monsters in here besides the abyssal demons. It really sucks because they're also aggressive towards you and this is single combat, so if one of them tags you it's just annoying to get away from them and then getting back on a regular abyssal demon. The only other thing I have to say is that abyssal demons do have a chance to summon a superior. If one of them spawns, you definitely want to pray melee while it's up because it can do a special attack where it attacks very rapidly and for accurate high damage. But that is pretty much it, so you know the drill. I will see you guys at the end of the montage for all the loot and the XP. So it turns out it was a little bit shorter than I thought, but it was still an hour and 49 minutes to complete the whole task. I'm a little brain dead on this one because it's not AFK, you have to constantly click and look for the next Abyssal Demon. Profit wise, we ended up with 232k. For close to 2 hours, this is terrible. <laughs> it's really not a great profit. I mean I guess on any Abyssal Demon task, you only get a, a nice profit if a whip drops. But we did get a hard clue scroll and two brimstone keys, so those might also help if we uh, finish those all up too. Yeah. yeah, another, you know, almost 200k. That's nice. That is going to wrap this episode up though. I hope you guys liked the video. Remember, if you have any questions about Slayer or just RuneScape in general, feel free to ask me, because I love talking about RuneScape. Be sure to join the Discord if you haven't yet. Love to talk even more on there, post some stuff, have some fun. Later. <laughs>